Wow, I was I was impressed concerning the evangelist that came out to explain to put a little more light on the faith baseless and uh, wonderful, wonderful. I think uh, uh, some of us have it. They may, we may not know the fullness of operation. You may know the operation, but me. So this is mine. So I'm I'm always with it. You know, if I want to move in the in the in every step, so why are you a wise man? So looking for it. It's mine. So I think uh, I I listened to the evangelist what the the last statement he made, which really impressed me about faith. Yes. Uh, since the Bible share. In that book of John 6, 63, Jesus said, is where is spirit and life. He said, is where is what? Take note of that. It's where is a spirit and life. Mean faith is a spiritual force. If Jesus said, is where a spirit and life in that John 6 6 63. This means faith is a spiritual force that grows and develops in the heart or spirit of man. Are you with me? I take you back again in that book of John 6, 63. Jesus said, it's where is spirit and life. If God's word is spirit, this means faith is a spiritual force. that grows, develops in the heart or spirit of man. Take note of the word heart, spirit. Biblically, it's the same. When you see heart, we refer to spirit. In some cases, you say spirit of man. Instead of say heart, Don't forget the book of Romans 10, 6, 6, 17, which says, By hearing and by hearing the word of God, the word of God, faith comes. The book of Romans 10, 17, hearing by hearing the word of God, not word, but word of God. So now we are talking of faith. This means faith is originate with God. The more we look to God, look at God, the more we will have faith. Are you with me? Take note of that. Faith is not in ourselves. If faith is in ourselves, faith will be weak because we are weak. It's not in apostle, it's not in apostle, but faith originates with God. Take note. The more we look, at God, that is, the more we look at God's word, 
the more we look at God, look to God, the more we will have faith. What does this mean to you? What does it mean to you? This means spontaneously faith comes. Me naturally faith comes. Spontaneously. The book of Romans 10, 17, I take you back again. Hearing by hearing what? Not the word of our father, not the word of Joshua, the word of God. Faith what? Faith comes. Hearing by hearing what? Faith what? Let me, faith originate with God. If faith originates with God, this means the more we look at God, God's word, the more we look at God, look to God, the more we will have faith. How? how? Don't forget God, nature, that is, mean. Spontaneously, that is naturally, faith comes. So, if that naturally faith comes without uh, 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 struggling, effort, this, I will not sleep, I will not die, it means this will help you. I will read my Bible, I will not sleep, I will, I, I, you want to sleep. Because you're a Christian, you want to finish your Bible, I must read my Bible. You are deceiving yourself. It's a thing of hearts. Or you just sit down, you must finish Genesis. From Genesis to Revelation, you start reading, you start reading, you cut table. You can't read Bible as if you are going to examination. You want to sit for exam, the way you read for your degree, master degree, that is not the way we read Bible. The Holy Spirit helps us. When we read Bible, we are reading Holy Spirit. When we read other books, we are reading about event, history. Are you with me? When you are reading Bible, you are reading Holy Spirit. Other books outside Bible, you are reading about events, history. You can fight, you can finish the book, you can sit down in a week and finish any book. But you can't finish Bible like that. You, we are not read to preach it, to teach it. But we are ready to live it. So, spontaneously, naturally, faith comes. If you are addicted to this, you just sit down. As you are sitting down, you take God in. You take God in. When you are now addicted to it, well, you can. Do like this and see vision. You can do like this. Your heart will talk to you. All those things that have occupied your heart. You know, our heart is far. There is a conflict between light and darkness in our heart. If I'm talking to you. Conflict. This is what is going on in your heart. Like you are here now, what is many hearts is reading? When will this man close church today? Eh? (laughs) 
When will, when will this man close the church today? Eh? This is 6 o'clock. Eh? Which kind of church is this? Eh? <laughs> eh? Eh? You keep talking to yourself. Nobody, you can't speak this thing out. When we, when, and, and tomorrow is Monday, I'm going to work now. I'm going to work, and I need to, when I leave here, I will, you start calculating a lot of things going in your heart. I need to sleep, will I sleep here? Okay, I'm going to check out of my hotel. Here, only you, you have discussed a lot. You keep talking to yourself. And uh, will I catch my flight tomorrow? I will check out from the hotel. When I leave hotel tomorrow, okay? Okay, we, but we can't say when this man is will close now. And my pastor said we must wait for grace. If you don't wait for grace, it's like uh, you have just come here not for nothing. When will this man close today? Do you know that after this now you will still spray anointing water? <laughs> Your heart is tight. At the end of the day, you ask yourself that I don't even know what tied me down this morning. <laughs> what, what tied me down? And I don't sit down like this. I don't know. what This church is, is wonderful. Hmm? So what can you see? All these are going on in your heart. At the same time, God wants to live in your heart. And all what you are saying has nothing to do with God. And God cannot be a tenant, tenant in, your house, in your body. It should take over your house. All what you are saying is for you, not for God. So, the same heart, faith needs to develop. But a lot of things going on. Eh? So this will help you to check out that idiot. You can check out that idiot. <laughs> that, that idiot. No, no. You, you don't need to begin to disturb your landlord at, in the house. They sit down you, in the house, you begin to say, Imane, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The landlord will say, These people have started again. <laughs> huh? say, the name of Jesus, in the name we rebook them. Those who are rebooking us, hey, Imane, Imane. Man, the landlord will say, This man has started. You don't need that so much. You, you have to be in an attitude of prayer all the time. A break in prayer is a break in God. By the time you are dated to this, you may not even count it, and your heart will be running just on its own. But you need to start from where, somewhere. By the time you are addicted to it, and you start it, you start it, you will find yourself, without even count it, it may be in your hand or somewhere, your heart will be running. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Look, life is all about rising and falling. Falling and rising. It's not smooth. You'll be going, you fall, you rise again, you start again. If anybody tells you that uh, life is all about rising, it's deceiving himself. Life is all about what? Life is all about sickness and healing. <laughs> it's all about weakness and strong strength. It's all about that. This is where the Bible says, in our working with the Lord, there are good and hard times. It's not one-sided in our working with the Lord. When you are working with the Lord, come on. This is it. The working with the Lord. Okay. Hi. Hey. Hi. That is, this is good time, Abi. A time also will come that
there are good and a hard time alike in our working with the Lord. Sit down. So, if God's were a spirit and life in that book of John 6 63, he said, My word is spirit and life. Then, faith we talk about is a spiritual force. that grows and develops in the heart or spirit of man. Like I told you, heart and spirit. When you have this, it will help you a lot. To help you. A time in the office, you just sit in the office. You may see that uh, the, the what's happened, what's happened, people are too many. You, you just, what's wrong? You may say, Excuse me, I'm going to restroom. You know what I mean? You, you are going to restroom, not to do anything, but to stand there and chat with your Lord. You chat. Or you may be driving along the line. You just park and chat. Chat and start again the journey. Often time you find yourself in the aircraft flying from one country to another. And you are a baby Christian. Baby Christian means you have not grown so much in the spirit that you can sit down and be looking at people and at the same time talking to God. You are not grow to that level. Here you bring your tea out while you are sitting down. Because you are rich does not mean you are grow spiritually. Anybody can be can live can live, can be rich. That you are female does not mean you are grow spiritually. Anybody can, can be famous. Superstar. Are they spiritual? We should understand that you can be famous, you can be popular, you can be so rich and is zero spiritually. So don't 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 measure your that your your Christian life by that. That ah, rich God answer me, and famous God answer me. No, we don't measure our Christian life with that. When you begin to measure your Christian life with uh, ah, my business is booming, my name is everywhere. Uh, I mean. It's, so I'm a Christian. No, you are you are getting lost. When you have many friends that are not Christian, and you are still meeting them for help, for assistance financially, many that they don't believe God, but you still meet them for financial help, support this way, that way. So what are you talking about? Well, we don't mention, we don't, I mean, you shouldn't allow that to, that should not be the right thing to measure your Christian life.
That does not mean Christian, we Christians cannot be very rich, famous and popular. Yes, we can be famous and popular, but I'm just telling you that if you are a Christian, you can know. Not your riches, by your riches, by your possession. Not by your possession, not through your possession. No, we don't know, you know, not through your possession. I have idea, I have house, I have plenty, I have car, I have this, I'm here, I'm a millionaire, I'm very rich, I'm very, no, not through that. We know you're a Christian. No. A Christian is someone who is secure by heavenly resources. Are you with me? A Christian is someone who is secure by what? You know there are heavenly resources. It is heavenly resources that give back to material. You know, spirit give back to material. Spirit. Material means money, possession, house, shame, popularity. It give back to those things. When you are secure by heavenly resources, Good example. Look at this ministry. With what happened? Does it change the security here? No. Do you see soldier come here? No. Oh, it happened. They said, let bring soldier, bring soldier for what? What is happening? What, happen? what has happened? Because of what happened? Don't worry. You will know the reason why it happened. And you will see what will happen. But ah, it has happened, you should see soldier, when I move, they should stand here with gun. No, 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 no. They should not come here and see every heavily armor car, everything secure because of what happened. No, what happened? No, what happened? No. Keep your finger across. There will be a story that when this happened, this is what happened. Just keep your finger across that when this thing happened, this is exactly what happened. That is history, God. When there is rain, the ground wet. When there is no rain, the ground... No, that's all. If suddenly what happened here happened and you see the Pakota suddenly, you may start doubting, ah, no, that cannot be this, that cannot be that, that cannot be, you start arguing, you may even query God that, oh, no, oh, no, these people cannot. God give a gap for you to hear the voice of people. What is happening now, you begin to deduce where this thing coming from. The action, the utterances of people, the action of people, the for, against, silent, you begin to, you must have have some of Oh, these are the people, these are the people. When God now comes with his danger, you will not have question at all. Now God allow, you can see now everything is on YouTube, internet, you, you read, oh, yes, 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 yes. Even you that are not even spiritual, you can sit down and begin to say, Ah, I did not see this thing. Why did they talk like that? Why this thing? Why that? Why this? You are begin to deduce some story for yourself. So if you have not seen anything happen from God, I think you will agree with God without question. This is what God allows. He doesn't want to keep you in dark. 
He wants you to understand whatever comes next, you will not query, you will not ask questions. Why should what happened increase your faith? That is the question you need. Ask your neighbor. Why what happened increase your faith? Ask your neighbor. That is God. What happened here? Increase your faith. Instead of it rise your faith. It makes you to believe the more. That is to tell you. Even when you meet the victim, the Mataya family today, one on one, you meet them, what you hear from them, you'll be shocked. Eh? What is this? Why should what happened increase your faith? If God is not involved, God is aware. Why should what happened turn out to be like this? Huh? Ordinarily, it's supposed not to increase your faith. Ordinarily. But you are not an ordinary person. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, ordinarily, it's supposed not to increase your faith. Ordinarily, you are supposed to be disappointed. Ordinarily, it's supposed to affect your faith. But you are not an ordinary person. You are a spiritual person. <laughs> you are not an ordinary person. If you are an ordinary person, we are not expecting you to, to, to... You are supposed to be disappointed. Because you are not an ordinary person. You are not an ordinary person. If you are still seeing yourself as ordinary person, where I mean, you are not ordinary person. If you are ordinary person, your enemy wants you to lock the church. When you are inside the church, you lock the door. You fear, 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 fear. Your enemy wants military everywhere, soldier, amoka everywhere, even though you want to enter church. Are, are you with me? Your enemy won security everywhere. Your en enemy wants to search you before you enter your everything. Huh? But you are not an ordinary person. Huh? You are not an ordinary person. And if it happens, your body, you are key, but your spirit cannot die. It is your flesh they can touch, but your spirit cannot. You will see this Mataya, the, the battle will be so heavy. Amen. The whole world will know that they are Mataya. That is why they, they, are, they will fight a heavy, heavy, heavily fight. Serious fight, you will see. Just keep your finger across. The Mataya. <laughs> they are not <laughs> heavily fight. Why did you fight? They want to restore that confidence that God does not lose battle. Amen. So, let me take you back to this. It will help you. 
this is the most precious things. I know the wise, uh, the, the, the evangelist has explained the most precious thing. You are supposed to sleep with it. Let me tell you a story. If you know you are about to sleep and you are lying on the bed and you are about to sleep, pick it. And let be on it and finally sleep off. It's a sweet journey. Because you, your spiritual need to be restored. It is a very mess when you, people say they don't dream. Even when they dream, they don't understand. The only one they understand is they eat in the dream. <laughs> huh? That is the only dream they understand. When they wake up, they say, what is your dream? I, I ate so much in the dream today. Huh? That is the dream you understand. That is the only language. Huh? Your dream should be your direction. When you don't dream, how will you? What? what where is direction? Your dream should be your focus. When you wake up and you dream. You laugh. You thank you, Lord. You be your focus. Even though you meet a challenge on the way, you remember your dream. Our dreams strengthen us, encourage us. Can't you hear? Oh my God! What Joseph said. No matter how challenging you are facing. And you remember your dream, you say to yourself, This is not where I belong. When you don't dream, you lose focus, you lose direction. You live, you walk without father, without direction. So this will restore your dream. There is something far better than your situation. There is something more important than your situation. Your dream and your goal. When you have dream, no matter what you are facing, your dream is there. If your dream should be your own map, when you find yourself lost and your dream say you are not lost, you laugh. You say to yourself, this is not where I belong. Dreamer, don't, don't, give, don't lose hope. Don't give up. So this will restore you back. All this uh, eating the dream will be over. Let us see in your hand. You have it? Let us see your hand. Wow, my God. Let us see. If you have it, raise it up. 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 Ha. 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 Raise it up. Come. Come, sister there, that have it. You got it? Come. Come. Wow. Wow. Where's the brother here that have it? Come. Come. You see, when I say raise it up, that is when you remove it from your hand. Yes, sir. I mean, it is when you are going home, you can put it on. You should be seen with this. You know, you know how you normally pin playing game on your set? Huh? Some some people when you are talking to them you see them with their eh? 
this is how you'll be busy with this. You have a lot to do. You have a lot to do. Don't let your business deceive you. Because the business is booming. That does not mean your Christian life is booming. That your name is everywhere does not mean your Christian life is everywhere. Don't let all those things deceive you. That you have contract of billion of dollar. Does that mean God loves you? Fine, God loves everyone. Your Christian life is, is smooth. Mm. This is what happened. This is why you see people just die and, and left million billion dollars suddenly. We should not allow this to deceive us. If everything is smooth, your business is going where, contract is going where, this is going where, your name is everywhere, this is the, this is that. No, no, don't just conclude that uh, you are spiritually strong. Because all these things you have around you, anybody can have them. The question is, at your private, you know yourself. Are you acting with God? Do you know God's opinion about yourself? All those billion, 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 shame and everything. Do you, do you know, do, 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 are you correspond with God? When we have not started acting with God, know God's opinion about ourselves and about all that, this thing, we may suddenly leave it one day, unprepared, unnoticed. I'm saying you can't change this. What are you saying? Oh Lord, take more of me. I give me more of you. Eh? Oh Lord, take more of me. I give me more of you. You say oh what? Lord. Holy Spirit, take more of me. I give me more of you. Holy you mean? I, do you mean what you are saying? Yes, sir. <laughs> you mean it? Yes, sir. Uh, what do you mean by you mean it? I mean, take more of me. I give me more of you. I Holy know. Spirit. Do, do you mean it? Yes, sir. Oh yeah, say it again. Let's say. Holy Spirit. No, take. say it. Oh yeah. Say it the way you normally say it. So. Uh, we, we, we realize that your mouth is short. What is up? My spirit is speaking, sir. You have spirit? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, let us learn. We want to learn something from Baba. So your spirit is speaking. Wow. What your spirit is saying? Can we know? Yeah. Holy Spirit, take more of me and give me more of That you. is what your spirit is saying. Yes, sir. And you can say that without your lips, without your mouth, move. I'm practicing it, sir. Ah, you practice in it, sir. Yes, sir. You practice the presence of God. Always, always. Eh? Always, since I have the bracelet. Eh? Always, since I have the bracelet, I'll be practicing it. Okay, what now, what is happening to you when you are sleeping? Anytime you sleep. Mm. My dream, I don't dream bad dreams again. Again? Yes, sir. Let me tell you, by the time, the first experience you have is that when you know that this thing is connected with your spirit, because at the beginning, you will be doing it because you are just want to practice how to do it. But God does not hear you. You only hear yourself but you are still trying to get that connection. The first experience you have is that when you dream, this thing will not be with you physically, but you will find yourself counting it in the dream. Then you are connected. Are you with me? The first thing where the thing will start from is that you suddenly see yourself in the dream dreaming. This thing will be in your hand. You'll be counting it in your hand. In the real life, you don't have it around you, but it's with you you are counting it. It means what you are doing here is being done in heaven. You know, you know, me, your divine nature has accepted what you are doing. 
one thing for you, for your human, your human who first started it, but with the genuine willingness, your divine nature will, will register it. So until the divine nature of you registered it, before it become weapon. If I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. So you know you have two nature, like my ba Baba is here now. You are two. The one we are seeing now, the person we are looking at, is human. Your name, sir? David. The person we are seeing now is Mr. David. Sometimes it may be Mr. David that is counting this. It is true your leaf will not move, your tongue will not move, but it's still Mr. David that is counting it. Because you said to us, you are practicing it. Divine person of you does not practice. He, he, he does. When he wants to do, he does. He doesn't practice. We practice gift. Human gift. What those things we practice? Talent. Those things we practice? Education. You have to read, you have to read, you have to pay school, you have to read, you have to read, you have to memorize it, you have to read and sit for exam, memorize it, you come out brilliantly. It's practice. Talent. You are a student or a footballer, you have to practice. You go to the field, you practice many times, you jump, you do everything, that is practice. This thing for under human natural gift man natural gift are you with me yes, so when you accept it at the beginning it may be your human that will start it with genuine willingness it get back to who your 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 real self your real self we call it your real self your real self, your real self, it is your real self that believe, that believe, so the word believe comes from the heart. This is why we say, Not all that confess Jesus is Lord are real Christian, but all that believe glorify. The one can pretend to be, I'm a pastor, but not such in heart. I'm counting this, like my father said, I'm counting it, it's my heart that is talking, not such in heart. So I think we find time for the little you have received. I know you are blessed. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Now the question, how do we get it? And, it, it, and it's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's just free. It's just free. Because it's just like that. You are given free. It's free. But how do we get it? So you, you, it demands for your genuine willingness. You have to be genuine. You have, to, you have a role to play. What is the role? Your coming forward must be genuine. Your coming forward to receive it must be very genuine. Not the issue of, I have been here for the past two days, I have been here for the three days, I have been here. When you start saying it, you can't get it. I have been here for the past three days, I have been here for the past three days, I have been here for this day. We must know the importance of it. So, how many days you are here? No, it does not matter. So, please, we find much time to talk about it. Like I have said, 
to increase your faith keep your purity tell your neighbor I can hear you to increase your faith keep your purity how do you keep your purity how 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 by meditate day and night on God's word meditate on God's word day and night and whatever you do prosper And this will help you to meditate. This will help you. By meditating day and night on God's will, this will help you. So you need to see me when I live here. When I just leave your presence and I'm, I'm with this on my seat, I will be talking to you, oh, what do you want to have? If I receive a phone call, I will just pick it, okay, how are you? Okay, everything. It's, as you are talking to me, maybe, what do you want to say? You want to make me to lie? Ah, I off it. You know, so we we'll say, eh, 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 mm, mm. The, the land is not clear. <laughs> Why? Because you cannot have this with you and also the day you have to mm. So those of you that just drop it at home or you put it as fashion, inside the church here we are not expecting anybody to put it on the, in your hand. As you are sitting down you should battle with your mm, 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 mm. Before, look, when you come to church, church where Holy Spirit is the foundation, from morning to the end of that survey, you are supposed to dream. As you are sitting down now, just a second, you just sleep. Before you know it, you see revelation. You write it down. But you, it is somebody miracle. Hey, hey, hey miracle. Hey, 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 hey. This one fall. I, I need to fall. You are ready for your. Hmm? Instead of everyone to to be busy. Faith is not meditation. It's not a imitation. We don't imitate others. What happened to others may not happen to you. God does as a way. But you shouldn't look at other, what happened to the other people. If he fell down, you too. When man of God gets to you, you now stand like this. I will not fall. Because that man fall. When they not touch you, you don't... Huh? So that is it. So please, I will we. So I'm saying, please, I'm 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 not happy that just only two percent. And I know maybe some of you left it at home. No, prophet, we don't have it, prophet. If you have it, what do you want to do with it? I'll meditate. You will do it. I'll meditate in my. You will be meditate. What? What? To make my faith grow. Ah. To make your faith grow. Okay. I'm happy to hear that. So now you hear to increase your faith, keep your purity. And to keep your purity, you must meditate day and night. So the meditation, you know, what has happened to us on the outside started from the heart. Any moment from now, if you are going to smoke, the hurt will start from the heart. And you say, ah, we are in the church now. <clears throat> I cannot smoke here. The TV church I should do in time now. Let me go home. <laughs> we are in the church now. Huh? Where will I smoke? The struggle will start from the where? The heart. But if you are able to fight it from the heart, you fight the battle, you win the battle. But we don't fight the battle from the heart. We fight it from the outside. 
That is the problem we have. Every battle that is not that is that is is not fought in the heart and outside, you can win it. When the temptation just come to you, it has started from your heart. Instead of you to fight it from the heart and win it and declare war against it from the heart. But it has come already, you want to say no, it cannot you it's not possible. Once it's out, you cannot win it, you. So art that is where the battle. This is where we have the. You shouldn't wait for that to come. You shouldn't wait for temptation to come. You shouldn't wait for temptation to come. Yes, life is all about rise and fall, falling. If you are rise now and you have not one day fall, be, don't wait till you fall. Don't say, ah, no, I'm born again. I cannot. No, those things will come. You rise and fall. You learn lesson from me, from the negative and positive. That make you very strong. You must go to school of negative and school of negativity and school of positivity. Huh? So if you don't know what it takes to be poor and you are now a rich man, how will you manage the, the blessing? Can somebody tell me? You don't know what it takes to be poor. Now, you are a rich man. How will you manage the, the, the blessing you have when you don't know what it takes to be poor? So in the same way, if you don't know what it takes to be condemned and you are now being praised everywhere, how will you manage that blessing? Yeah? You, the people are praising you, it's a good man, it's a good man but you never experienced condemnation before. So in the same day, our head, if you don't know what it takes to be sick, seriously, now you have good head, will you appreciate it? No. You will not. People that appreciate their good head today are those who are at the point of death before. Are you with me? Yes. I said those who appreciate their good head today, they have good head, they are those who was once at the point of war. Yes. So in the that's not. Sure. Hallelujah. Rise up, rise up, rise up for prayer. So please, once again, to increase your faith, keep your purity. Keep your purity. God loves you. Now you open your lips. Ask God for the grace of obeying his word. Because all what you hear now, you need grace. You can't just say, Timmy Joshua say we should meditate in God's word. And you start saying, Jesus, in Jesus, in Jesus. Ah, you can't continue. You need grace from God. Hmm? You need grace. Eh? You need grace. Need, you, it's only grace that can change you. You need grace. Millions of TV doctors cannot change you. All what you hear now. You need grace to obey. You want to open your lips. Ask God the grace of obeying His word. Prayer. Ask God His grace. The grace of obeying His word. Maintenant, vous voulez vous demander à Dieu la grâce d'obéir à sa parole. Priez pour cette grâce. Oremos, pidale a Dios la gracia para obedecer su palabra. Oremos. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. You know, when the grace of God comes upon you to obey His word. This way, when you get it, you begin to see result immediately when, like my brother sitting down there, somebody just fall at the bar. The first thing say, Jesus! But before now we say, hey! Is Jesus? Hey, hey, hey! 
<laughs> because you are pregnant of that name. The wonderful name. Are you with me? Yes. Like your dream. You are dreaming. You are sleeping in the night. Some people came with the cutlass and gone. Instead of you to say, Jesus! You say, hey, Baba! The person sleep beside you, whether your wife will say, My honey, what happened? Uh, don't worry, don't worry. It's one of those things. <laughs> it's one of those things. Instead of telling honey, you say, oh, Don't worry, one of those things. Allah, I try Bawa. One of those things. That is how it ended. Because you are not pregnant of the well. But when you are addicted to this, when this, even inside the vehicle, and the driver tried to misbehave, maybe he's trying to, maybe he's sleeping and he just turned to somewhere. Jesus! You just, the driver will just stop. But you don't have that grace. That is why some spirit has access to your hand. They operate in your hand, operate in your tongue. You just find yourself your, where you want to stretch your hand to is not where you are stretching your hand to. Where you want to go is not where you find yourself going. What you want to say is not what you are saying. After you finish saying, you say, ha, but to take paro. And I say I will not lie again, you. <laughs> you. Some people have seen a man that he never knew that I was standing looking. I don't want to lie. You cause me 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 to lie. I say, ah, oh, cool, what happened? <laughs> Can you see? People are very. People love God. They know that it's God. Yeah. He started, but, but I said, Uncle, what happened? He started crying. I said, what happened? He said, I said, I will not tell lie again. But before you know it, I am lying. When I finished lying, I started regretting. I, I nearly shed tears when I look at it. It's a big man, you know. He said, I have lying again. <laughs> They started beating me. Woo, woo, woo. From there I saw, I said, Uncle, what's happened? He said, yeah. So I said, I will not lie. I'm a child of God. I don't know what to do. I would lie. They lie. Before I know you. Those spirit, familiar spirit, if you are not grounded in the word, they have access to the tone, tongue, to mouth, access to nose, even to eye. Where you want to look is not where you are looking. After you finish looking, oh, I don't want to look at that place again. I don't want to look at that place. Uh -huh. I don't want to look at that place. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I don't know Jesus, Amen. <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> where are you going now? Some will now say, oh. For noise. That is it. So they have access, they operate through the nose, the mouth, faculties. Some will just be going like this. Ah. Oh, by the time they get to where you are going, this is not where I want to go. Huh? Why, why am I here now? Oh, already you have captured. So the familiar spirit have access, though for those who are not grounded in the way, they have access to their faculties. Are you with me? They have access to their faculties. They use their hands. They use their head. Even the, your hair, you just stand it. Your nose, your eyes, your tongue, you lie. On the phone, you know this uh, answer. It's another thing. Before you know it, just one thing they say, you say hundred. So all those things, but this will really help you. So, so you now open your lips now and begin to command all spirit operating through your mouth, all spirit operating through your nose, 
All spirit operating through your tongue. All spirit operating through your eyes. All spirit operating through your faculty. Begin to command it our prayer. Maintenant, commandez, commencez à commander à tout esprit opérant au travers de vos facultés, de votre bouche, de votre gorge, de vos facultés. Commandez-leur de sortir dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Empiece a ordenar fuera todo espíritu que esté afectando sus sentidos, la boca, el oído, la lengua. Empiece a echarlo fuera en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Oremos. Continuez de chasser tout esprit opérant à travers votre bouche, votre langue, vos yeux, vos facultés. Commencez à les faire sortir. Commandez-leur de sortir dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Empiece a echar fuera todo espíritu que está usando sus facultades, ya sea la nariz, la boca. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now you know. You can put them to check. Now you know. You say, what is wrong? What is wrong? Why should you have interest in your human nature? You use it anyhow. Just go with human nature. Use it anyhow. You don't know. You don't have control of yourself. You just want to look. Look. I mean, you, I mean, you drink. You can drink anything. So that human nature, just like, just like that. Now the awareness now has come that look, you have to stand against this in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You have to stand against I want you to remain in two, two minutes. Say to yourself, this is awareness. This is our awareness. Right now, remain silent and begin to talk to yourself right now. You have to stand against this or Satan using your faculty, faculty for his own will. Not, your, not the will of God, but his own will. As from today, let the will of God be done. I cannot allow my faculty, my tongue, my tongue, my mouth, my hands, my legs, my eyes. My eyes. No, 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 no. The awareness has come now. So the sense of righteousness. You are the righteousness of God. Say, I'm the righteousness of God. I'm righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Say, I'm righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Now the awareness, the sense of righteousness has come now. Now the sense has come, the sense of righteousness that, look, Satan cannot be using my faculty again. Enough is enough. That you have to stand against it. Say to yourself right now. Sense of righteousness. No. Maintenant, alors que vous priez, continuez de confesser sur la justice de Dieu. En Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Listen to that. The prayer is not too long. I cannot keep you and begin to say, rebuke the spirit that you operate through your mouth. Through the, you just need awareness. And that awareness has come. Now you have realized now that a Satan can use your nose, can use your tongue, can use your this, can use your eyes. Just like that, he used faculty. The awareness that has come now, you can stand against it. When you live here, you just be conscious of Christ Jesus. You're a, you're a child of God. If you're not, you will not come here all the way long, all the way far. I mean, you have been here since morning. Since morning, you have been here. This Satan has power over you. He will have asked you to go home since morning. And I know the, a lot of thought has been going on that, ah, let me go home. Oh, it's too late. Oh. But you insist. No, I'm not going. So, the same sense of righteousness. The thought will come, but you overcome. Amen. So now, this is for you. We, we make it available for you. So, yes. You, you begin to fight that battle from your heart. Not battle from outside. Battle from outside is, is, is not battle. The real battle is inside. The, all those things that is happening on the outside is uh, the real battle. It's means us from inside. In the kingdom of God that will be done. The real battle is from inside. 
I mean, it's from inside. From inside. So the sense of righteousness has come now that, look, this foolish Satan can use your tongue. This is why you, say, you tell lies. Say, ah, why should I be saying I have say I'm, I, why should I stand to tell lie? This is why sometimes what you don't want to lose, see, you look at it. You begin to regret over it. A lot of things like that. Just like that. So that sense of righteousness is I pray it has been restored. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. 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 Right now we have to also stand against all religious spirit. Because this is where we are coming from. Everybody here, our background, we are brought up from that. Religious spirit, we don't know. We think we are we are it's over. No, it's not yet. So we argue bloodly, we, we are not ready to learn. You behave to know. To know. Whereas you need to learn. No one is alarmed. You need to learn. You need to learn. Error. Heresy. Unbelief. That you know Bible does not mean you live by it. Wanting to know the Bible. Wanting to know from Genesis to Revelation. Wanting is to preach it wonderfully. But another thing is to live by it. Are you with me? So another thing is to live by it. So we are talking of living by what we read. Yes, you read, you read, but you live by it. So that you know Bible from Genesis to Revelation, you can preach it powerfully, you study it, you do you have the knowledge. Does not mean it's in your heart. So when you come to live by what you read, it is the, the, where, this is where the grace comes from. You don't need grace to, to read the Bible and to preach it. You don't need the grace. Actually, you don't need the grace. You just need to study and take your time to study the Bible. You don't need grace. But you need grace to live by everywhere we study. Thou shall not do this, thou shall not do that, thou shall not do this, thou shall not do that. You need grace. This is where grace comes in. I, if I'm talking to you. So therefore, because of this, we should not argue when we know Bible. When we say we know Bible, don't argue it. Listen. Someone who do not know that Bible like you may have the grace to live by it. Are you with me? So you know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. You can preach it. You can teach it. Someone who do not know the Bible like you may have the grace to live by the little he know. So we should be open for knowledge. Age, possession, that should not deceive you, like I have said. That you have property, you have house, you have money, don't let it deceive you. Your Christian life, don't measure your Christian life by that, all this. Hallelujah. So you stand now, con begin to command all religious spirit in your life. Spirit of unbelief, spirit of unbelief, spirit of heresy, spirit of error, begin to command them, command them right now. À présent, ouvrez vos lèvres et commencez par commander tout esprit, esprit d'hérésie, esprit religieux, esprit d'erreur dans votre vie. Commandez-les de sortir dans le nom de Jésus. Empiece a ordenar tu espíritu de religiosidad, de incredulidad, de error en su vida. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. En el poderoso Jesucristo. You know, what I, I understood now, I saw, take your mind, I saw my brother, 
Okay, my brother, I want you to do what you are doing now when we are praying. Your face bracelet. I want to when we are praying, this is what he was doing. And I quite understand why he chose to do that. Instead of joining up, begin to say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, this is what he was doing. You know, do you know the reason why he was doing this? Why we are praying? He realized that uh, he may not have enough word of God to talk to God. He needs to pump himself with the word. When you are empty and you are talking to God, whom are you talking to? Baloo. If, when the Baloo is, is not pumped, can the Baloo fly? No. So this will give you, will give you word. When you have a nowhere, you can, you, you can, I mean, when you are just praying with that a nowhere, that is a religious way of doing it. But it, when we are praying, who was doing that? Day? Was meditate because meditation gives revelation. If you don't have something, you meditate. You have here. Where will revelation come from? Meditation come from where? Eh? Revelation come from what? Meditation. When we are doing the name of Jesus, he was just busy. When you have seen what he was saying now, it's between him and God. He may be saying, take more of me, give me more of you, take more of me. Why the prayer we are praying, he was saying, it's so different. So can you see? This is what we are trying, when it comes to things of the Spirit, you will not look at this one, what this one is doing, what that one is doing. It is the spirit that will guide you. You will not because you are sick and begin to fast. You will not because you are poor and begin to fast. You will not because you want to get a contract from a company. Because of that, you will now start fasting for three days. Because you want to be spiritual. To meet the chairman of the company and collect contract by, by fire by fire. If I'm talking to you, let me see your heart. <laughs> you will not because you have nightmare in the night and now open your Bible to Psalm 35 and place it on your chest and say, when they come against me, I'll come against them 100 million times. But these people, when they now come, they can carry your Bible down, put it down, and start flogging you. <laughs> huh? They will just carry the Bible you open in your chest. And say, Lord, fight against those who fight against me. After that, you, when you want to sleep, you put, place the Bible in your stomach. And say, yes. Yeah, this is my weapon. When these people come, because you are, you are the one who made Bible work. Bible cannot work himself. You, you make it work. It cannot work by himself. So when they now come and know that you are empty, so definitely the Bible you open there is history. If you are empty. Do you know what they will do? They will just carry the Bible down. I'll carry it down. And wake you up and say, stand up. <laughs> when you now stand up, you look at their face and say, do you know me? <laughs> By the time you see, you see gone. You see matches in the night. You want to say, uh, honey, 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 honey. <laughs> honey. <laughs> and honey is not Jesus. Is only Jesus, only will not say, my dear, what happened? What happened? Oh. Now, right now, open your lips and let us stand again. Every addition, spirit of addition, the same spirit that commit, continues to torment you, every spirit of addition, every spirit of addition. Yes, I will not talk, I will not lie, but you keep seeing yourself talking and lying. Every spirit of addition. Yes. Yes, stand against it. Say no. Stand against it. Stand against it. 
Maintenant, ouvrez vos lèvres, tenez-vous contre tout esprit d'addiction. Vous qui dites, je ne mentirai plus, je ne ferai plus ceci, vous vous retrouvez en train de toujours le faire. Tout esprit d'addiction. Out in the name of Jesus. All spirit of addition. 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 In the name of Jesus. Right now, ask yourself, what are those unwilling? What, what are those spirits that continue, 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 non stop, continue to stop? You have been praying to stop this, but no way. Ask yourself, let this awareness come that today you must stand in against it. Say to yourself, I must stand against it. As I'm living here, I'm just standing against it. Yes, yes, you are given weapon now to stand in every spirit of addition. Every spirit of addition. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Right now, open your lips and begin to command spirit, familiar spirit, forefather spirit. Know mm -hmm. so there are many spirits that continue to disturb you, which you know are not of God. Open your lips right now. Begin to command them. Command them out in your life. Maintenant, vous voulez recommander à tout esprit familier, tout esprit ancestral de sortir de votre vie dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Empecemos a ordenar fuera de su vida todo espíritu familiar y ancestral que está en el nombre de Jesús. En el nombre de Jesús. Sorcery spirit, witchcraft spirit. Open your lips and begin to command that witchcraft spirit. Command the sorcery spirit. Espíritu de brujería, de encantamiento. Vos lèvres recommandez à l'esprit de sorcellerie de sortir de votre vie dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Tout esprit de chicerie, d'encantement, échelo fuera, en le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ, de sa vie. Oremos. In the name of Jesus, right now face your neighbor. Face your neighbor and begin to rebuke that spirit of accessory, that spirit of witchcraft, divination, whatever spirit that are not of God, command it out. Begin to command it out right now. Maintenant, priez avec votre voisin que tout esprit de sorcellerie, tout esprit qui ne soit pas de Dieu, tout esprit de divination, chassez-le de la vie de votre voisin dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Priez. Empiece a ordenar todo espíritu de brujería, encantamiento, adivinación, de brujería. Échelo fuera en el nombre poderoso de Jésus-Christo. Se ve la pantalla ante la oración, vemos la acción y reacción de esta mujer ante esta oración de echar todo espíritu de brujería de su boca. Oremos.
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I want to pray with you. The right hand of God is power. La main droite de Dieu est puissance. La main droite de Dieu est puissance. Whatever you might have eaten through the spirit, witchcraft spirit, sorcery spirit, divination spirit, whatever you might have eaten, whatever you might have eaten, whatever you might have taken through all the spirit, I command them out in the name of Jesus. I command them out in the name of Jesus. Be it in your blood. Be it in your blood. Be it in your flu. Be it in your muscle. Be it in your bone. 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 Be it in your kidney. Be it in your womb. Open your lips and begin to rebook whatever you might have eaten through this spirit. Whatever you might have taken through this spirit. Empiece a revocar todo alimento, toda cualquier cosa que haya tomado de este espíritu. Empiece a revocarlo, echarlo fuera en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Ore. Vous vous lèvez quelque chose que vous avez mangé au prix à travers ces esprits de divination, de sorcellerie. Continuez à vous de chasser ces esprits dans votre vie dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Let us pray with viewers all over the world. Wherever you are, viewers, whatever medium you are using to view us, whatever medium you are using to view us, viewers all over the world, whatever situation you are in, are you sick? Are you facing challenges in your business, in your home? Facing right. challenge in your career, your career in your finances, finances. be rescued in the name of Jesus. Viewers all over the world, whatever medium you are using to view us, whatever place you are in, whatever situation you are in, be it in your sickness, in your bone, in your muscle. Whatever sickness, whatever name they call it, never a sickness Jesus cannot heal. Be rescued in the name of Jesus. I say to your finances, be rescued in the name of Jesus. I say to your business, be rescued in the name of Jesus. I say to your career, be rescued in the name of Jesus. I say to your destiny, be rescued in the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus said, your business be rescued. I said, be rescued. I said, you business be rescued. I said, you career be rescued. I said, you marriage be rescued. Never a situation Jesus cannot solve. Whatever situation you are in, right now, Jesus knows your situation. I say, be rescued in the name of Jesus. Never a situation Jesus cannot rescue. No matter how worse. When Jesus says yes, no one can say no. I say to you, viewers all over the world, Oh. Your business, your career, your marriage, your home, I say your health, whatever sickness, whatever sickness, whatever sickness, I mean infirmity, whatever kind, whatever name they call it, be rescued in the name of Jesus. Be rescued in the name of Jesus. 
I can hear rescue. This is the boy from God. La voix de Dieu. I can hear rescue. I can hear rescue. When Jesus says rescue, who can say no? I can hear rescue. I can hear rescue. 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 They was all over the world. Let me hear you break through. Breakthrough. 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 In Jesus' name. Give thanks to God. Rende grâce à Dieu. Demos gracias a Dios. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I can hear breakthrough. It is the will of God to rescue you. I say it is his way to rescue you. La de Dieu tell de your secourir. neighbor it is his way. Dites-le à votre voisin. Be was at home. Say, tell your neighbor. Spectateur, tell your neighbor it is his way. C'est sa volonté to rescue me. De me secourir. It is his way. C'est sa volonté to rescue me. De me secourir. It is the will of God. La volonté de Dieu to rescue me. De me secourir. It is the will of God. La volonté de Dieu to rescue my career. De secourir. It is the will of God to rescue my career. It is the will of God. To rescue my business. It is the will of God to rescue my finances. It is the will of God to rescue my marriage. It is the will of God to rescue my head. To rescue my head. It is His will. Thank you. Yes. When it is when it is his way to do something, no one can stop him. When God said, "Let there be light," it was his way to bring light. So no one and nothing could stop him. It is his way to rescue you this time. You are rescued. Viva, you are rescued. Viva, you are rescued. Viva, you are rescued. Say to yourself, it is his will to rescue me. Thank you, Lord, for rescue me. Thank you, Lord, for rescue my business. Thank you, Lord, for rescue my career. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for rescue my finances. Thank you, Lord, for rescue me. Thank you, Lord, for rescue my destiny. When the Lord says it is, He will rescue you. Your own part is to say thank you, Lord. Because when He says He wants to rescue you, no one can stop Him. Even you, you cannot stop Him. It, what, you, it, you just need to hear his way. If it is his way to do this, no one. You, this is what we Christians lack today. We don't ask God's way before we ask for bread and butter. When you begin to ask, give me bread, give me bread, you first of all need to ask whether it is way to give you bread. Peace. But we don't mind today to ask God whether it is way to give me bread. We just continue, give me bread, give me bread, give me bread. When it is not his way, no matter how crazy or shouting you make, you are wasting your time. This is the cause of disappointment. People today, many that were once a Christian, today they are no more a Christian. They say, it is not work for me. I've been a Christian, this is not work for me, this is not work. You don't need to know his way. His way. Can you see now, what is the relationship between his we and faith? That is the question to next week we are going to answer. So and I want to stand here today telling you it is his way to rescue you. Amen. You agree with me? Let us see your hand. Please, I just want to see your, your, your crazy Crazy, crazy, crazy. Thank you, thank you. Viewers at home. Viewers at home. Crazy noise. Viewers. Hallelujah. When they ask 
ask you why are you making noise? It is God's way to rescue me. So we demand pourquoi vous faites du bruit parce que la volonté de Dieu de me secourir. Right now, your country. Stretch your hand and pray for your country, your flag. Pour le Romain. Ah. Et priez pour votre pays. Hardly carry flag now. People that sell flag, they are making billions. Huh? Hallelujah. Where is your flag? You don't want to carry flag. The one you have, you, we are expecting you to bring it anytime you come here. Instead of people making business on you. Wow. Pray for your country because the, the piece of tree is the piece of bear. If the tree is not at rest, there is nowhere for bear to perch. Pray for your nation. Hallelujah. So right now, stretch out because you are fire. God's will is upon you. Just stretch, stretch it and pray for your nation. Étendez votre droit pray for your nation. Et priez pour votre nation. Every covenant. Toute alliance. Every covenant. Right now, begin to release your nation from every covenant. Libérez votre nation de toute alliance. From every covenant. Release your nation from every covenant. Libérez votre nation de toute alliance. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Release your nation from every covenant. Covenant of corruption. Covenant of corruption. Release your nation from this covenant. Covenant of killing, stealing, destruction. Bloodshed. Innocent bloodshed. De répandre le sang innocent. Et se libérer la soulation de tout pacte de corruption. Of corruption. Toute alliance de corruption. Killing, stealing, destruction. Tuerie, vol et destruction. Misappropriation. Mort et destruction. Misrule. Malus manejo. Release your nature. Libérer votre nation. Libérer son nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nom de Jésus. Father, we release our nation. Satan, lose your grief. Lose your grief. Say, lose your grief on our nation. Lose your grief. Lose your grief. Lose your grief in the name of Jesus. Rejoice. Rejoice. Begin to rejoice. Oh, that man should praise the Lord. Oh, that man should praise the Lord. For his goodness and for his wonderful works. To the children of men, to the children of men. For his goodness and for his wonderful works. To the children of men, to the children of men. He has broken the 